Okay, so we do have a little bit of water right here, a little swampy, swampy, swamp action. Okay. I know, I'm such a wimp. I hate getting my feet wet, especially when I'm wearing expensive shoes. This kind of reminds me back in uh, the end of April, beginning of May, when I was hiking the PCT, and it was all wet like that. <laughs> Okay, continuing on. So if you were desperate, there is water. <laughs> Notice the word desperate. <laughs> More burn. Pretty little yellow flowers. Stephen, the dogs are down that away. Just amazing how these little flowers just kind of live right in the trail like this and care in the world. Nice, soft, comfy trail. Oh, my feet feel so good. Nice view over there. Steve down there with the huskies. <laughs> A lot of uh, grooves from uh, erosion from the uh, big snowpack this year. Apparently this road was shut because they had so many rock slides and things that they had to deal with and they just apparently opened it up recently. So on a day hike on the PCT, I carry everything that I would carry on a regular PCT, except I have the REI Flash 22 instead of my other um, 22 liter backpack, because the straps, you can't really put a lot of weight on this. And I carry half a liter instead of a liter of water. And I don't have the bivy and the air mattress and the, uh, quilt but other than that I have everything else I mean even in a day hike like this there are certain things I especially since it's uh November now and we are at altitude so there are things that I definitely feel a necessity to carry such as a lighter a lip balm toothbrush toothpaste and a floss uh my Roe Vivon flashlight my Petzl Bindi headlamp because it is, you know, winter gets darker early if we have to hike out. We always somehow end up hiking at night. And I carry the my little Swiss Army knife that has tweezers and scissors and all those good little useful things on it, devices. And uh, I carry, got my buffs, got some gloves, got a beanie, got my wind jacket, got my uh, disposable rain poncho, got a turkey oven bad bag, super lightweight, same as an Isla Flume, but you don't pay $5 for it. Uh, and that goes inside the pack if it was raining really bad. I got my phone, of course. I got the car charger, just one cable for the phone. I didn't bring any other uh, chargers or anything this time. Because it was charged on the way and I can charge it on the way home if I had to. And what else? think that's it and uh yeah my um my puffy uh i just got the martin yeah mountain hardware ghost whisper uh two yay baseball hat two ghost whisper two uh orange puffy but i didn't want to get it full of pine sap so i just left it at home it's got a hood i wanted something with a hood so i just have my uh unico black 750 fill down jacket which is it's okay, that's basically for the car ride home because once I stop it can, and it's dark and get cold. Ah, another big blowdown. <laughs> Fun times. It's really pretty though. 
Remember, always look up as a hammock camper and PCT. Yes, I've taken the hammock. I do look up because of these um, trees that could fall down any minute. What was it? Uh, for a couple years ago, this poor guy was hiking with these two girls. And I think it was European guy. And he was almost done. He was in Washington. He was crossing a bridge and this rando tree just kind of fell and crushed him to death. I mean, that's really sad. Can you imagine? You're almost there. You're so excited. You had a great hike, met great people, felt a sense of accomplishment, carried all that stuff up and down all those passes in the Sierras, and then a tree falls on you. So um, I never wear headphones when I'm hiking. I always want to hear because I'm hearing impaired, so I want to hear the nature. I want to hear if something's falling, like see all this deadfall? Look at that one up there. See that? Can you see that's all burnt? I mean, I want to hear what's going on in nature. I want to hear if there's animals. There's mountain lions over here in this area too, by the way. So I want to hear for those. So anyway, I'm going to go right now and talk to you guys later. Bye.